everyone. I am Professor Jayashree Prem Kumar, and uh, in this video lecture, we are going to get ourselves familiar with group discussion, which, as the name suggests, is group activity and is used by majority of business schools as well as companies before the final selection of candidates. Uh, so let us first see why is group discussion considered to be an important part of a selection process okay so the process of selection begins with a written exam uh, which tests the candidate for their knowledge of various subjects related uh, to the job description as well as their mental ability their aptitude and their creativity the successful uh, completion of this step leads to the next step which is group discussion now remember in written test, though your analytical and uh, subject skill is tested, it is through your memorizing power and written learning. That way you convey the skill to the selectors. However, in group discussion, you convey your analytical and subject skill through face-to-face -face communication in a social situation. And thus, here your soft skills uh, which we'll be seeing in detail, play an important part of your selection, right? The successful candidates from this step then go for the next round, that is uh, the interview, uh, which is called a personal interview or selection interview. Now, selection interviews help the interviewers or evaluators to get accurate and detailed information about candidates educational uh, qualifications work experience social background as well as their uh, conversational skills and their ability to think critically okay so after understanding group discussion as one of the chief tools in selection of candidates to top business schools and companies we'll now see the important features of group discussion okay uh, so, first, a group discussion involves bringing together around 6 to 10 participants of similar age, educational background and experience who are given a subject and a time limit is around 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, next, uh, group discussion is not a structured activity. Can you guess uh, why is group discussion called as unstructured activity? Yes, you're right. In group discussion, uh, there is nothing predecided about the order in which the participants uh, will speak or how long each participant will speak. It is thus a leaderless activity. However, as the discussion begins, leader or leaders emerge from among the participants right thirdly group discussion is different from public speaking interview and debate because in a uh, public speaking there is uh, no discussion and the audience only listens to the speaker uh, whereas in group discussion there is listening as well as there is active discussion. Similarly, in interview, it is the interviewer who controls uh, questions, right? That she or he is in a position of advantage. But in group discussion, there is no specific questions uh, and uh, participants are equal in status. Okay? Uh, when it comes to debate, uh, or the persons uh, who will speak for and against the subject. It's already predecided. But in a group discussion, after the topic is decided or declared, participants uh, decide whether they wish to speak or against the topic. So now, next we will see the qualities and skills assessed to evaluate successful candidates. Okay. So, uh, first, in order to be successful in a group discussion, a participant must have effective communication skill. 
An effective communication skill includes speaking logically with clear voice and pronunciation and of course with a good vocabulary. Next comes knowledge and reasoning. This means that a participant must have knowledge about the topic given for discussion in order to have clear ideas or views on that topic. A participant must also have good analytical skills in order to be logically persuasive and there should not be repetition of the ideas, right? Next, a participant should neither be too dominating or too mild. Uh, the participant should not be cynical or critical of others' view, uh, should not be boastful and also should respect uh, the views of others' participants. So, uh, in other words, candidate needs to show team spirit, right? Uh, next, uh, in order to uh, have selection uh, in group discussion, leadership skill of participants is also tested. Now, uh, can you guess what is this uh, leadership skill? Yes, you are right. Leadership skill is tested by candidates' ability of taking initiative, trying to keep discussion moving by focusing on the subject, uh, then encouraging uh, non-participants to enter the discussion and also tactfully handling conflicting views. Okay. Uh, next, emotional stability is analyzed by serving candidates' openness to listen to others' views as well as uh, their ability to face criticism and negative comments without becoming emotional or aggressive. And last but not the least, overall performance of participants uh, is checked by seeing their level of participation, uh, their interest uh, in the given topic and their turn taking skills. So, um, do you feel that group discussion is an effective tool uh, for selection of right candidates after checking all these points? Yes, group discussion is effective tool for selection of candidates, but you need to know that it does have its limitations. Uh, so, we will now see what could be the limitations of group discussion and how these limitations can be removed or at least be minimized. Okay. So, uh, first limitation is the subject of group discussion. So, the subject of group discussion might uh, not be subject which is considered as active subject for discussion. Take for example, if the topic given is uh, religion or uh, faith, uh, then many candidates uh, might not be comfortable discussing that topic. Thus, the examiners need to ensure that topic of group discussion must be suitable for active uh, group discussion, right? Uh, then the next one uh, limitation could be that uh, it could be from examiner's side. So, examiners uh, might have personal bias for or against some candidate. So, this limitation can be removed by having uh, more panelists so that personal bias can be minimized as far as possible. Okay, so with this, we end our discussion on uh, group discussion as an important tool uh, for selection, elimination, and final placement of candidates in uh, B schools uh, as well as in job market. Thank you for your attention. Namaste.